Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this week's video. So this week has been a pretty mellow week. Um, just had one appointment and it went fine. And this week coming up is going to be another mellow one. I have a dentist appointment Thursday. Um, but I actually find going to the dentist relaxing as long as they're not pulling a tooth. So that won't be a problem. Um, I did get a new, a few things in the mail. Um, I had originally put, um, wanted to get this from Amazon, but I found it at Walmart for several dollars cheaper. And I get free shipping from both Walmart and Amazon. So I got this nice little skull and crossbones. Um, and then I also ordered from Amazon the binding tape that you use on the back of the kits. So that when I get that one finished or the other kits that I have finished, I can go ahead and seal them up and get them ready to hang. I also got crochet thread, a size zero. I've never bought yarn this small before. And I got, does it count as yarn with a size zero? It's thread. The hole in my tongue from where my barbell goes when I decide to wear my tongue ring is bigger than this. But anyway, I also got double pointed needles, the pins, to for the right size for that. I already have the knitting needle that I need for it. Um, I just didn't have the right size um, DPNs. And I'm not, the project that I got that for, I am not quite ready for it yet. Um, I'm bringing up a picture of it. The um, I still need to practice some more with the DPNs. I need to make some more Ross hats just because I am, I need to practice fixing what I did wrong on the last time I made DPNs, which Sabrina swears is an easy fix. I just haven't tried it yet. But this is the pattern I want to try. The knit flower doily which comes from red heart I, um it i got to the the actual pattern when i ordered my mystery box of yarn so it looked fun it looked like something i wanted to try so fingers crossed we'll be able to do it you know or do it well anyway without having to frog it a bunch of times or even if i have to frog it you know at least learning something in the process but, so let's see how I've done this week on my projects. Monday, it I did update the schedule a little bit so that um, I am working on the project that I'm doing with Sabrina. I'm working on it twice a week instead of just once a week. And, or at least it has its own day once a week. I can, you know, I pulled it out more often than that. But anyway, I'm working on it on Mondays and uh, Thursdays now. I did have to order some more yarn. I, when I originally ordered the yarn, I didn't get the correct color for one of the series of pieces. Um, and I can't remember why I didn't get the right color yarn. I mean, going back to look at it, um, it's because the color that the pattern actually called for, they don't make anymore in that brand of yarn. So I had to figure out a workaround, which was easy enough, but I did have to order because I, I couldn't quite tell based on the way the colors looked on my computer screen. Um, I did had to order two different shades, but I figure what shade I don't use for the project, I can turn around and make hats or something with. You know, there's always going to be a reason for yarn. So those did arrive, and they arrived today, I believe. I can't remember if it was yesterday or today. I think it was today. But it's the right color. And um, so now I have all the yards that I need to finish the project. So as soon as I, you know, I'm still working on the blocks. And then we get to assemble it. Which still, I, I don't know that I'll ever like sewing pieces together. But it's not as bad as it used to be. I used to super hate it. But we're in there. And then... Tuesdays and I'm back on my schedule. Tuesdays and Fridays, I'm working on the diamond painting, which it was the 
uh, Black Chick Rug, which I did get finished, so this is ready to get be hung up. I've got it taped up, and then I've got the, the dowel so that it stays nice and supported. And it can just, you know, hang on the hook. And it's ready to go. Um, I did start a new diamond painting. This one actually has an Iron Man in it, and it's an off-brand Iron Man because it came from Wish.com. But it looks fine. Um, I do think that possibly one of the colors that I needed, they didn't send me enough because I ran out, but I haven't looked to see if there's a second packet for it yet. But if it is missing, it is short, I can use, it's it's a shade of yellow that they have enough other colors similar to it that I could, you know, do a work around that way. So, working on it, it's buried right now, um, otherwise I would show you it, I'll show you once I finish it. And then Wednesday was the, where did it go? The monthly scarf, the scarf of the month, which I finished the November scarf and started the December scarf and got it done all in one day. So this is done. I'm done. I'm taking a break from doing scarves for a little bit. And I started a project at it's called the Shelter Me Blanket, and I got it from a pattern from Ravelry. It was a pattern that you have to pay for, but it's, it really wasn't the match. I mean, it was only a couple dollars. So, But the first time I started working on it, I couldn't get my brain to work around the pattern and get it figured out. Um, because me and Magic Loops are not getting along. Now, I know I have done Magic Loops in the past with crocheting because once I watched a video and actually started doing it, it's like I can remember it, but I could not get it to work. Maybe maybe it's because it's I mean I probably I definitely need practice with it just because I haven't done the technique in a while. But also I think this yarn which is a um, a like number three is not making it any easier. So I found an alternative to the magic loop and work with it and it's actually coming out quite well i didn't get much done the last day that i worked on it before i took a break just because it was on wednesday and that was day two i was having a hard day on wednesday with getting my brain to focus and wanting to do like everything and nothing and i couldn't you know and then i when i wasn't fussing with trying to figure out what project i wanted to do that day i was tired and wanted to take a nap, but I couldn't sit still. And I couldn't figure it out until Thursday afternoon. And I realized, oh yeah, I went back on my, my ADHD medicine and Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the medication vacation days. My cats are getting into trouble, like always. Um, and the first day, because medication vacation days are back to back, the first day is really not that bad. The second day, the second day compared to a day when I'm actually on my medication sucks. It's, you know, I, it's definitely proven to me that I need my medicine. Um, so I want to talk to my doctor to see if he still wants me to keep doing the two days together or if maybe he wants me to split them up. But that was, I figured out, probably that was my problem with Wednesday was I needed to, I mean, it was the day two of my medication vacation. So that's why my brain wasn't working that well. But I couldn't get the, um, my brain just to work around the pattern that well. So I ended up working on the junk blanket, which is, is doing quite well. And I've also been working on scrunchies. Not as much. I've, you know, I've got two, a, a nice little brown one and a yellow one. And those are going in the bag for the dental office staff and her daughter for them when I go to my dentist on Thursday. So I didn't get much on that Thursday, but I did work again on it on Sunday and I got all of that, that, this was all Sunday, um, which still isn't that much, but 
I also didn't work on it all day Sunday. Um, but I'm so quite happy with it. So, and I figure when I get ready to work on it again on Wednesday, hopefully my brain will be. I mean, that's again day two of the vacation, but hopefully my brain will be functioning better this week, especially if I remember that's what it is this week. So, and then Saturday is, oh, that's what it was. I got rid of the, I took the, the blue blanket off the, the schedule and that's just my out and about project. But my, that's why I, I was able to add a second day for the Sabrina project. The Saturday is because the knit sweater is still in timeout because I cannot get myself to sew it together. And I just need to sew the sides and the sleeves. I am so close and I, and it's just irritated me so much. Um, I may have to bribe myself to sit down and finish it because it's getting to be that time, uh, type of weather where I might actually want to wear the sweater soon. But anyway, I started today. I work, I've been working on this shawl, which is the uh, neon pop shawl from Garden Good Yarn, even though it's not the neon pop yarn. I still like the pattern. You can see that's a lot of. It goes between um, stocking stitch and garter stitch. So, but I like this pattern. It's nice and simple. I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with this, and I'm getting close to another color change soon. There's see the the orange in there. As soon as I'm done with that, then it you know it I'm doing pretty good. The only thing with this, well, I can't figure out because I it. When I'm knitting with this, this part of my finger right here gets sore. And I know that that's because when I'm holding the needle, it's pressing against the needle, not pressing hard, but it's resting against the needle and where the loops are on the, the needle. But I don't know why that bothers me when the blue blanket so similar. I mean, it's, the size difference is, is so is real small between the two of them. This doesn't. I don't have that same problem when I work with this um, pattern with this project. So I don't know what it is, and it's not just a today thing. It's an ongoing. Every time I work at it, so I have to take breaks every so often and let my finger rest. Um, I have seen those little, um, I actually have one that kind of like a finger, it's a finger caught basically, but it's a little leather, just the tip of a glove or, or the finger of a glove basically that just goes over. And I've used it before with super pointy needles when I need to protect my finger. I've thought about bringing it out, but I haven't yet because I'm trying not to have to put myself through the frustration of getting used to that so but you know we're getting there so but anyway that is all I've got going on this week um next week like I said is going to be nice mellow week and hopefully I can make some more progress on my projects and I will actually have something to show you next week see you later